Today, I'm going to show you guys how to reconstitute the peptide IGF-1 LR3. So, I have a one milligram bottle right here. Okay. I got my um, my 100 units insulin syringe. You can see 100 units right here. Okay. And we got our back water okay that's all we need all right i'm not gonna use any clown swabs or alcohol none of that i'm gonna do it as simple as possible because i'm gonna be taking that shortly and you know igf one out of three is one of the best peptides to build muscle and to recover and enhance performance right it will also help you lose fat. When I was on it, I lost cycle about two months ago. I put on a lot of muscle and I got leaner while on IGF LR3. So that's why I decided to buy it um, for the third time because this is one of my best and favorite peptides. So I can build more muscle, get a better pump and stay lean okay so first thing i'm going to pop this open all right boom there you go open all right so i'm put this right here in the trash okay we don't need the cap anymore so we got the back water right so for this i'm going to do two ml of back water two of back water so we can reconstitute that. You see, this is the powder. It shouldn't be like this. It should be a liquid, okay? Um, if you've been in Pepta, you should know this, but you know, if you've never done it before, you know, I'm informing you guys so you guys know. So let's get into it, okay? So we open up the syringe, right? Boom, 100 units, like I said, right? Oh, perfect, new syringe. Okay, so we're gonna do is we're gonna pop like this, right? And we're going to draw a full syringe, so like a hundred units. Okay, let's do that right now. Boom! As you can see, it's filling up, filling up as fast, really fast. Boom! It's filling up of backwater how we wanted it to be okay let's see we need there you go a hundred units okay so boom there you go this syringe is full of a hundred units of backwater this is going straight into the peptide because we need to make this liquid it shouldn't be a powder form okay so Look, this is one of the most important steps, okay? So, for the peptide, if we're going to inject the backwater, it has to be to the size. It cannot go directly into the peptide, meaning the powder. It cannot go, like, straight down the powder. No. It has to be on the size, on the size. Because you got to squirt it on the sides, not directly into the powder, okay? I'm telling you no, so you don't ruin your peptide. You don't want to ruin your peptide because... Peptides are expensive and you don't want to ruin it. So look, so we inject right here, bam. And now we inject to the sides. Okay, inject slowly to the sides. Boom, so you can see. Slowly, you gotta take your time. You see, slowly to the sides. To the sides. I'm letting it drip down the sides because I don't want it to drop into the peptide itself. Okay.
Boom. There's one. As you can see. But we have to do it twice. Because we are injecting two milliliters of back water into the IGF-1. LR3. So we go again. This is the second time. You know. Um, and I'm doing uh, two mLs because it's easier and better for me. Now, if you want to do one, you can do one, but it's going to be a more potent dose because you're going to have to draw less, I have to draw a little bit more, but that's okay. That's all right. Okay. Boom. We got 100 units right here. Okay. Nice. There you go. We're going to draw the water again, and we're going to do inject again into the IGF-1 LR3 boom and now we kind of tilt it to the side and now we inject slowly you see just squirt it to the sides I'm not any drop into the peptide I'm already drop in the sides as you can see bam So now we got the peptide like this. It has two ml right now, as you can see, right? So now it's one of the most important steps, okay? Now that it's like this, you already added the back water into the IGF-1 and R3. Now do not shake it. Do not shake the peptide. What you gotta do is just gently twirl it. And I'm gonna show you how to twirl it, okay? Just go like this with your hands, like this, like this, like this. All you're doing right now is just um, the powder to dissolve into the water so it can mix up, basically. So that's what we're doing right now. But do not shake it. Do not go like you're shaking a spray can, but spray something, do not shake it like that, no. Because you will ruin the peptide. And we don't want that right now. So let's keep on going. I'm just twirling it gently. Gently. We can also go like this. We can go like boom. And boom. Boom. And boom. 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 So like I said, I'm just dissolving the peptide right now. That's my main goal. Just dissolving, as you can see. That I'm trying to dissolve that so it can be like full liquid form. Okay. I keep on doing the twirling. Okay, now that the peptide is fully reconstituted. All we gotta do is just pin it, okay? So in my case, I'm going to do 20 micrograms a day. So I'm gonna do a cycle, which, you know, everybody should do it like this. Five days on, two days off. So basically you can do from Monday through Friday, um, in the morning, right, fasted, or after the workout, so like post-workout. I usually do it, faster in the morning because I will benefit more of the pump right after I inject or after I pin um, sub Q. So that's why I do it in the morning. But if you want to have a little bit more of the recovery effect, then I would suggest doing a post-workout. So in my case, I go again, right? Boom. And I draw about, I will draw about like this, less than 10 units, I mean 10 I use, right. so it's gonna be like 4 I use, like 4 I use, because for me to get 20, Micrograms, I gotta do four I use. Boom. Okay. 
Okay. About four I use. And that'll be it. Okay, guys. So if you got any questions, let me know down.